We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. They love their football in this part of the country, and this crowd is ready to go as their guys will match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. He takes this for three to the 29. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Second and seven. They'll go option to the short side. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He'll look to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Right back to Sanders on first down. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. And let's check on the call. Boy, that is a seven-yard loss. Second down now. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. And quickly finding Rager. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. No score after one on EA Sports. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Sanders. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second down and goal. Hurts rolling. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts 
Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Fitzpatrick. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. That catch good for five. It's third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On third and one, here's Fitzpatrick. Down he goes, Fitzpatrick sacked. The Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, Washington gonna call on Tress Way to punt it away. And this returnable for Rager. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Hurts sliding out of the pocket. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The safety blitz works perfectly that time for Landon Collins. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. After the sack on first down, Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. It 
An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. They'll drop to throw. This one incomplete. Almost picked up by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's the Eagles' new punter for 2021, Aaron Sipos, to punt it away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And from here, might not be able to take a knee. Might need to run a play here this close to their goal line. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. First down, Fitzpatrick. Over the middle, complete. That's Thomas. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Looking to throw again on second down. Fitzpatrick. A throw left side caught here by the tight end Bates. First target, first catch, and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first and ten, it's Gibson. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Fitzpatrick now. And down he goes. Fitzpatrick sacked. That's Derek Barnett. Coming in and making the play. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel. 62 yards. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. the goal line and he'll be stopped up at the 25 
The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Tackle made by Chase Young. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They're going to look to throw. Escaping the pressure. Burks fumbles it, and it's Washington that scoops it up. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Fitzpatrick going to give to Gibson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the 8. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and 8. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at 3 in the lead. So how worried are you about the 6? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Here's a give to Gibson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. chance in the ball game and it didn't come until the fourth quarter but he connects there a big one to give him the lead boy you talk about coming in cold i don't care how many times you kick it into a net you're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick big spot and he delivers Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And last time they coughed it up. Led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a... Hurts fumbles it. And does Washington have it? They do. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand. And they'll take that. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go back to the ground, this time Barber. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Fitzpatrick. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer, and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. Hopkins' kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Jalen Rager, who was the intended receiver, and it's third down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Pass complete to Ward. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. To an ego's Fitzpatrick, and that should just about do it. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all 
know that that would be their last points of the game. No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. <laughs> So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Washington football team as we say so long from FedEx Field.